Hey there, welcome back. If you saw my last video, you'll remember I showed you how we install these log newel posts for our new iron railing that's going to go across this front porch. Well, today, we're going to go ahead and get all our measurements and get on back down to the shop and start welding up this railing. When it comes time to start pulling your measurements for your iron railing, you don't really need too many tools. Just a level, a tape measure. So here you'll see I, I've taken time to make a little jig that represents the exact layout of our railing. This is where the bottom attaches and this is where the top attaches. This is the space we need off the ground. It makes it real simple. I'll just draw this point and mark the one below. And we'll do the same over there and it's easy just to measure between the two then. Now we can just measure across the top and the bottom. Alright, so I've got a reference point here, and we're just going to use the same jig and scribe where the railing is going to, going to mount. Again, this just makes it easier when you get ready to measure these in. So what I like to do is pull my measurements, take a lot of good notes. So I've got my marks. We just start pulling some measurements. Alright then. I think we've got everything we need. Yep, let's load up our gear and head on back down to the shop. So we've got all our detailed dimensions. We've ordered all our metal. Now let's take a look at some of the basic tools that you're going to need to weld your own iron railings. First things first though, because our railing is actually bigger than my work table, and my big work table is being used for a storage shelf, I thought we'd just take time to data, grow this table. Here, I'll show you what I'm okay, talking about. Because our railing is actually a little bit wider than my table, I'm just going to interlace these, uh, these scrap pieces of sheet metal I have here. Add a few inches to the width of the table. But the railing is actually longer than my table, too. So for that, we've got this. It's a simple folding extension for my workstation. Simply fold it up, put a couple of braces under it. Just like that. And just like that, our table's ready to go. Now, if you've been around and seen any of my other YouTube videos, you know I'm a strong believer in using templates. I've got templates for table legs, for rockers. You know, we even used a template when we got the measurements for this iron railing. And when it comes time to welding iron railings, it's no different. I've got a template for that. And what well. you see here is a simple 1x4 template that I've taken time to make that assures that we keep the gaps the exact same between every baluster now, on your railing. you may be saying to yourself, this is a big waste of time. But if you're a beginner, like we all are at some point, it's well worth taking the time to make these. It'll just make sure you keep them the same, especially if you're doing several different panels of railing. And as you'll see here, not only does this template keep the balusters spaced evenly, it creates the exact center point where you weld the railing. Now believe it or not, when it comes time to making your own iron railings, you really only need a couple of tools. You're going to have to be able to cut metal, and of course you're going to have to be able to weld metal. What I've got here is a Lincoln Electric 3200 weld pack. It's a basic beginner's MIG welder. runs a wire feed MIG welder. runs on simple 110. And of course we run on a 7525 mix of argon carbon dioxide shielding gas. Now that's a simple entry level welder. Of course you may have something else, like an old buzz box or maybe a nice TIG welder. And those will work just fine too. Now when it comes time to cutting metal, you've got a couple of options. But I highly recommend one of these four and a half inch metal cutting bandsaws. This metal cutting bandsaw gives you the ability to perform precision cuts over and over. Alright, so you've got your welder and you've got a way to cut your metal. Of course you're going to need a measuring tape, something to mark with. And you know me and my grinder, got to have an angle grinder. And I recommend a couple of bar clamps, at least wide enough to cover the width of your, your railing or the height of the railing. Well, that's really all there is to it. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click subscribe right here. And come on back next week.
We'll get started welding these up. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurniture, howto.com. We'll see you again next week.